order, chaos, entropy. What are these? We look at order as something needed, necessary for civilization to work. But is this the case? We follow rules. We need rules to feel safe. But is this really order or an illusion? Order as we know it brings monotony. Why do we need to shelter ourselves in our boxes? Why do we feel that these boxes protect us? When faced with difficult times, we see our boxes dissolve around us and we panic. But this could be a good thing. There is beauty in chaos, in entropy, the seemingly random organization of things. Art is entropy. Love is entropy. Community is entropy. Life is entropy. We see chaos as random. But what is random? Is the universe random? Maybe, possibly, but there is order in the chaos, and that creates beauty. Look at evolution. Millions, billions of years of apparent randomness leading to what we have around us. The only apparent order is what we have created, or rather, the one that has been created, imposed on us. It is an illusion, a boring, limiting, strangulating, suffocating, blinding system that makes us believe that in order for everything to work, we have to stay in a single file, sorted from the shortest to the tallest, the thinnest to the fattest, poorest to the richest, that we need to wake up every morning at 7 a.m., go to work for 8 hours, take a 30 minute break to eat, go home, sleep and repeat. We are made to believe that it is not about what we want, need, love. It is not about our passions, our fulfillment, our happiness. What it is about is the order taking precedence over our individualism. Are we just insignificant points in space and time? What happens if we embrace some entropy? What happens if for once, rather than looking outside at what the order wants, we looked inside at what we want. Where do you want to be? What do you want to be? Embrace yourself. Embrace your chaos. Find a new order. And you might be surprised at the beauty we can create when we work together, not based on the order that has been imposed on us, but on the one that we evolved together as individuals.